Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm still playing with silk screens. Now last week I showed you how to make uh, these two pendants with the little round silk screens and today I am going to use my feather silk screen which I'm so excited about to create this pendant right here. And now this is just so much fun because I mean there's so much to play with here. You have so many different designs. It's the same set. It's called Nature Silk Screens and uh, you can choose different designs here. Now for this one right here, for this pen in here, I used uh, this leaf right there and I cut it out with my little teardrop and you can see there was another one that I cut out with a teardrop and I kind of give it a little swirl so it looks completely different. Again, I put resin on my stuff because I love resin on metallics and we are going to use metallics because I love dazzle. So, let's get started. We're going to use two different colors today and the colors that I'm using is the cobalt blue, metallic cobalt blue and this one is icy blue metallic. So this is Craftsmart, this is Artist Loft. We're going, these are the two ones, the, the two that we're going to use. All right, so let's get started. I already rolled out the clay. It is not very thin because I'm going to be working with it. I'm not gonna be adding a lot of background to it. So um, I'm going to place my screen. Well, first of all, you know, well, let me trim it again just a little bit because I don't need to use all that clay for it. So let me see what I'm going to actually need. All right. I don't want to be too cheap and then not have enough either. All right, so this is good. I'm going to use this leaf right here, a very nice leaf. I'm going to trim it um, as well and I'm gonna Add some cobalt blue to it to the top. Let's add all of it to the top. Uh -huh. And don't put too much because you are going to just waste it. Oh my gosh, as I say, do not put too much. What do I do? I put way too much. So let's see how this is going to actually work out for us. I want to move it to the side like that. And we're well, just going to take your little squeegee and place it down and kind of make sure that it's squeezing through the silk screen. You kind of want, you don't want it to be, you don't want to have defined line. I'm going to show you what. I mean by the fine line. Ah, love it. Look at all those different colors and guess what? My squeegee and my silk screen is in the hot water right now. Well, like literally in the hot water. <laughs> Not in trouble. Um, I'm just gonna give it a nice clean Sorry about that, but you can, <clears throat> you can see how nice it looks. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't do that little smear between the colors. It's kind of nice when you place the, when you place the, um, now I'm all wet, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, when you place down the squeegee and you give it like little movement because then you have this, this, Toward it, it's almost it's blending in the colors blending in. Now, if you want to see what not to do, is here. Although I do like it, and I am going to keep this pendant, but you can see that the you can see the fine lines, and we're really not after looking um, for the fine lines here. Now, I think I got some water here from my gloves. Okay. I may have like destroyed this pendant. All right, so now you're going to make sure that it dries and it doesn't take long for it to dry. There's some 
plain black you know me I have to use it I have to put it on the side and this one here I'm just gonna take it I'm just gonna trim it you know just just give it a nice trim just to start because everything I'm gonna do today is going to be freehand so you can see that you really don't need stuff um, need cutouts if you don't have them you totally can follow the lines of the project and get wonderful results so what I did here was as you can see I created a little hole and this is all from the same uh, design I was just cutting it and playing with it and finally I was like hmm you know I think I kinda like it so that's where I'm at so let's cut it uh, let me cut it do, 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 maybe at a like an S here so let's do that and this is definitely not an S it was supposed to be an S but there's just no S about it <laughs> alright so this is what we have it's a little bit slender than the other one but that's okay I'm going to uh, twist it around and cut this this way and just so that you know you can take a brush and add brush strokes to it you can color it I did do that to one of my pendants hold on let me show you I don't like it so don't judge me but here I did take a brush and um, I did add some uh, paint to it um it's because I'm not good at it it didn't come out all that great but oh well so let's cut out uh, another piece right there like a smaller piece so let's cut out a piece that is maybe shaped like this and let's see what we can do with it so this is all still very soft it's all malleable so you can really but it's dry so you can really design your own pendant this is the time for you to to turn into a little designer of so to say so I want to do this and I'm going to put the this one right here like that Now, is it going to be exactly like that? No. I'm going to work on it now, but at least I have an idea of what I want to do. <clears throat> so, let's, let's put those together. Where is my little thing here? I want to make sure that we have space right in between there. I want to have two spaces. And I want to have space right here. You can give it a little squeeze if you want to open it up. Make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever floats your boat, so to say. Okay, that's good. Now, let me trim it just a little bit more. We don't need all this here. We probably could get a view without this part right here and now it is all on you to start shaping it into something that you really want to create so let's make sure that we like what we have here That's way too long and now you just have to sort of baby it if you want if you want it to be bigger on one side smaller on that side if you want the the eye to be big small so it's all entirely up to you but this is the design stage so once you're gonna bake it that is going to be it 
And what I did with my previous, um, with my other pendant that, that I showed you right here, this one here, um, I actually baked it and then I added some more clay to the back to give it a, a nice finish in the back, which don't look at it right now because the resin dripped and I didn't sand it down yet, which you know, if you watch my resin video, it does happen all the time. But so this one you can you can go ahead and start creating the different design. I want the little hole to be here too, so I want to part those. If you do a little boo boo, it's still fixable at this point. And I'm going to grab some paint. If I find a toothbrush, uh, a toothbrush, <laughs> paintbrush, please don't use toothbrush. You can take a paintbrush and just add little touches. If you have too much of one color or not enough of the other, this is the time to fix things. Just add a little bit of color here and there so it flows. All right, I think that this is going to work for me. Let me just see here. Now, if you have any imperfections and you do put resin on, resin will cover them. I tell you that I love resin. I just love it. I just love it. All right. So my other eye is not as big as the other one that's in my first pendant, but I'm really not worried about it. Oh, there you go. It all is opening up. It's opening up a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, so... You can create this this little pendant and when it comes out of the oven when it comes out of the oven I just took a little very thin layer of clay and I just added it to the back so that it's all uniform because right now if you're going to flip it around you're going to see all three of my pieces but you can see that the paint is already dry you don't have to worry about like not touching it or playing with it or whatever. So just add the little touches of paint here and there. And it is ready for the oven. And it is then going to be ready for resin. And um, you can wear it or you can give it as a gift. Wow. Whatever you want to do. Isn't that awesome to make your own jewelry? It's the best. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time with more projects. Ta-ta my friends!